Do millionaires use credit cards? Well, you know the answer is for sure. It's an absolute yes. What I'm going to get into in this video is how we use them, why we use them, the language, and the big bonuses at the end. So there's three things I want to talk about, just in general, why use credit cards and why we are such a fan. I'm going to talk about, number two, the language around it. And number three, which I don't talk a lot about, which is the lifestyle of it. Why do people use credit cards for a lifestyle? I'm going to tell you some stories of folks who live their life on credit cards and have an enormous life, and they build a huge lifestyle based on that. So let's begin. Number one, in general, the biggest mistake people have with credit cards is, first, I'm going to say, inherited education or behavior from people who are like 10, 20 years ago, given really bad information. You know, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, I mean, that's when cards came alive and so many people were saying, you need to stay out of debt, live within your means. You've heard all of those things as you like manage through life. That is not the conversation we're in. We are post pandemic. We're in a whole different financial situation and we got to get people caught up. So first of all, as we move into cryptocurrency and NFTs and the digital currency age, which we're here, by the way, many of you are still yet to catch up. It looks like a credit card. It's going to feel like a credit card and you're going to have to learn responsible behaviors. So this old theory of I have to be debt free. I don't know anyone wealthy that's debt free because even if you pay off your cards every 30 days, I don't want them ever paid off all at one time. So in real principle, you're never debt free. You might have four cards. You pay off card one week one, pay off card two two, week two, card three, card four, you're always rotating debt using other people's money called credit card companies. The big, the big principle is make sure that you have enough money to pay it off. The minute you start lapsing, and so I call it the domino effect, right? And you start living a lifestyle bigger than the money you make. We're not going to fix your lifestyle. I'm excited that you want a big lifestyle. I've lived all over. I have had private planes. I do what I want when I want. And you can do the same, but you got to make the money. And that's the thing is when people say you need to be debt free and you don't have credit cards, it's because you don't know how to make the money. First of all, we use good debt. We see credit and credit cards as an amazing, useful investment tool. So when you can use other people's money and you do it right, you can say it's 0% paying off every 30 days. Why wouldn't you use that money? Even for those of you in real estate where you need to raise capital, I have all sorts of sources of funding. I want you to call our office. I want to give you some help. You could get that money for 0%. I mean, I have so many clients that are getting 80, 100, $150,000 of actual utilization on loans and credit cards. It's 0%. Hard money is 15, 12, 17% right now. So why would you use expensive money to do a rehab, say on a real estate project? or to buy some inventory because you have to get started. Or if you're a really new entrepreneur, you might have to buy your first equipment, supplies, whatever you're needing. Use 0% financing, get out into the market and make money as fast as you can. Do pre-orders, do deposits. And as you start ramping up, I mean, I want you to ramp fast to six figures. It's only $8,333 a month. You can do this. I'm going to help you do this. So the use of credit cards is really using other people's money in a more sophisticated way. It's an investment card is what we call it. So the secondary piece of that is the more money you make and the more active you're using them, the faster they're going to increase your lines of credit. I know businesses that have went from a $10,000 line of credit, very actively went to $100,000 in revenues and immediately got a $50,000 line. And I know clients, including ourselves, like you have, there's cards you, where you have a pretty unlimited line because you've shown responsible spending. You make money, you spend money. There were times way back in my five time, you know, New York time run where we were spending almost a quarter million a month in Facebook and other online ads for advertising for leads. All of that, we would spend it, right? And then I would pay it off and we would spend it and we would pay it off. There were times where sometimes my card bill was as high as half a million dollars a month. And you have to imagine at a four, five, six X of reward points, that's millions and millions of points. What do you use them for? You travel your staff for free. You can buy airline points. You can buy rental cars. You can actually buy equipment. Um, you can buy golf clubs. I know people who have bought sports gear. They can, you can use it for so many things to buy your lifestyle. So you use the cards as an investment card as a lifestyle to grow your company, use it for ad spend, use it for what you're needing inside the company. Then you use all the points for the lifestyle. People that are millionaires and billionaires aren't paying for both. We're using one very, very strategically. 
which gives us the rewards and the advantages and all the bonuses. And that's how most of us are spending their lifestyle. There's actually a guy who lives his whole life and he's just been featured on a lot of TV shows. I think he's the points guy or something like that. I mean, you talk about somebody who has perfected using points. I don't know how much, you know, he's sponsored by credit card companies, but it was genius. It was an interesting experiment. Now, the piece that I know that wasn't told in that story is you got to have the money to start it out. You got to have the money to spend it and pay it down and spend it and pay it down. You just can't open up a card because you have no money and all of a sudden get all these reward points. So there's a make and spend in the beginning and then it accumulates. But the domino effect, the compounding power of that, it's extraordinary. So yes, I have clients that do all of their spending on credit cards all but their mortgage, everything. The utility bills, their phone bills, everything is paid on a credit card, paid off every month, and all those points accumulate. And the only thing that they're paying for out of their bank account is a mortgage. That is really highly effective use of how to use a credit card and take advantage of all the benefits. So what you see in the millionaire and billionaire world, for a lot of you, I mean, you're so scared to even get a credit card and use basic debt. I know a lot of you that are watching, you're like, I can't even imagine that. You just have to begin. You got to begin being a smart entrepreneur, get your first credit cards, use them right, keep your credit good, get your corporations, get your corporate credit. And this whole thing has an amazing compounding power and a powerful effect to you and the lifestyle that you're choosing to live. So before I continue and wrap this part up about billionaires, millionaires having credit cards, Again, subscribe to my channel, click that notification button, make sure you're here every day, five days a week. And if you're out there saying, well, I'm not even close to a millionaire and billionaire, what's she talking about? I don't wanna be here. Well, you need to be here. That's even more important. 10 to 15 minutes a day is all I ask. Make financial literacy a priority in your life and your family's life. So, uh, and then share it. Even those kids, kids as young as five and six can hear this channel. And boy, you know what? They're gonna pick it up because they don't have any weird mental stuff about money and they sure don't have any weird stuff about credit cards, right? And you're gonna start educating your kids young, young, young. In my new book, Make Your Kids Millionaires, 12, 13, 14, you get kids credit cards and start responsible use. So a few other cool things that millionaires and billionaires can do is if you work with certain financial institutes, you can get a credit card. And a lot of times when you have six and seven figures in a bank, they will hand you back cards where you can actually use those points for investing. Now, the challenge that I see with it is it's usually in their bonds, their mutual funds, their stocks, it's back into their products. So it's not a bad thing, but it is a thing for those of you that are super conservative and like bonds and mutual funds and those things. So it is typically their product. You're gonna see going forward more and more people paying in crypto, paying in other sorts of currencies. So you need to have all of this available. All of it's going to look and feel like a credit card and to you old fashioned folks in your thinking, you're gonna think it's bad debt, it's not. Using good debt properly is the true use of other people's money. It's phenomenal. Remember the pattern and the cycle that we want in your life is what I call a wealth cycle, where you're making money and investing money. You make and invest, you make and invest. That pattern of your behavior is what I wanna see. What I need to break and you need to break is make, spend, make, spend, make, spend, and then have that old live within your means mentality and don't have credit card debt. It's okay to have credit card debt for 29, 30 days maximum. Then you keep your interest at zero or really, really low. And if it starts creeping up again, call our office. We have experts that will help you and let's stay in touch. What I want you to do right now I'm sure this has spurred a lot of questions. Go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request. We're gonna send you out an application right after that. You can fill out an application to work with us. You're gonna talk one-on-one -on -one to one of my experts. And my experts have been around a long time. They know this content, they know the work. And uh, if you qualify and you like us, we like you, we'll begin a journey together. Love to help you become a millionaire. But for now, we'll talk tomorrow.